time now for our political insiders, Tony May and Charlie Giroux. Join us here in the studio. Guys, welcome. Happy Fast Knot. Mardi Gras. Thank you. Yeah. I've had all 50. Yes, <laughs> all. I know, right? <laughs> so easy. Seems to be the number here. Uh, Tony, a report came out today on the economy of Pennsylvania. 51% now saying they see the economy as either excellent or good. Well, this is a good sign because the last time that we were above 50% was 2008, so it's been a long time in coming. And I know Charlie will disagree with me, but the poll was taken just a week after Tom Wolf was sworn in. Coincidence? Hmm. Or yeah, that so in other words, that meant Tom that everything Corbett that did. happened before Tom Wolf <laughs> took office win. made up for that. <laughs> Let me give you what I think is <laughs> the non-joking around answer here. And that is another piece of data that came out just today that showed the production of natural gas, two big words, natural gas in Pennsylvania. We have now eclipsed every state in the union except for Texas. The development of natural gas in the state is good for consumers. It's unbelievable for the economy. The ripple effect has incredible implications for Pennsylvania and it's the major driver behind Pennsylvania's economy right now and that's the number one reason why consumers for the first time in a long time are saying great thing. Additionally, Consumers also understand that they've had more of their money to keep for themselves because we haven't had a high tax environment right now. So the one thing we could do to screw everything up is to start imposing onerous taxes on individuals and on businesses, and in particular on the development of the Marcellus Shale. Tony? So Charlie turns into a debate about Marcellus Shale. Well, uh, that and, you know, the governor in his campaign said he was going to raise taxes. And it's interesting, the governor of Ohio, uh, John Kasich, a Republican, is also talking about raising the uh, Marcellus Shale tax, which they already have, uh, an extraction so tax. But, but they're both, they're both, we're both, we're both going to raise it to equal West Virginia's. Between West Virginia, Ohio, and uh, Pennsylvania, we exceed Texas in gas production. All right. Let's move on to Rob <laughs> McCord, ex-treasurer uh, for the state of Pennsylvania. It was in court today. Uh, he pled guilty to uh, charges of extortion. Maybe 40 years in prison, but is that likely, Charlie? Not terribly likely, although I think the federal judge, this is not a state trial, federal judge is likely to impose a fairly stiff sentence. It's just another tragic, tragic chapter in Pennsylvania's political history. I've written recently about the bright line that the courts have clearly drawn. Our elected officials have to, have to not cross it any further. Mm -hmm. I was just surprised at how quickly this happened, it did, Tony. It did. I mean, he, his admission to it and then right to court, the guilty plea. Well, apparently he was, there was a, a, a recording, a telephone recording, where he made the, the, the statement, the asking for the money and threatening uh, to cause uh, economic harm to the prospective donor if he didn't give the money. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I mean, McCord felt he was caught red-handed. I believe it's a sad day that such a promising, uh, smart public official has been tripped up, and it's going to be inter interesting to see what Judge John Jones does. John is a, the judge is a great, respected jurist who has been a pioneer in many important cases in Pennsylvania. I don't think he's going to go easy on McCord, but I don't think he'll do 40 years. All right, well, McCord has thrown himself at the mercy of the court. We'll yes, see what happens. Is. All right, guys, thank you. You can catch our political insiders every Tuesday right here on CBS 21 News at 530. And Sunday mornings at 1130 for CBS 21's Face the State right after CBS's Face the Nation. A federal